In this daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you're going to pick up presentation insights from a legendary heavy metal music band. Last week, our youngest celebrated his 16th birthday. For his birthday, he asked for tickets to an Iron Maiden concert. If you don't know Iron Maiden, they are a legendary heavy metal music band. You probably don't know this about me, but I'm an old metalhead. I love those heavy metal bands going back to the late 60s all the way through the, the 90s and early 2000s. And I'm still a hard rocker at heart, even though I'm <clears throat> out of my teens. Just the way I am. <laughs> I went to the concert with Sean. And in a word, I was blown away by the experience. And I choose that word carefully. To me, this was not just a concert. Now, I was sitting in my seat. Well, actually, we stood the whole time. So I was standing there enjoying these guys from four rows away as a music fan and as a coach and presentation skills trainer. I kept shifting between the two, uh, kind of changing my hats back and forth. I love the music. But I was more impressed by how the band, and there are six members in this band, Lead singer Bruce Dickinson, three, ba uh, three guitar players, a bassist, and the drummer. I was so taken by how they interacted with the audience, with each other, and they looked like they were having fun. Now, they've been together 40 years. Imagine playing the same songs, giving the same presentation, same speech for four decades. Most bands, most performers, they, there's a phrase we use in the United States, they mail it in. They just kind of stand on stage and they play and then they get some applause and they leave. Iron Maiden didn't do that. They were having fun. You could feel the energy. The, the, the lead singer, Bruce Dickinson, he had the audience in the palm of his hand. He could get us to do whatever he wanted us to do. He had us singing with him. He had us jumping up and down and dancing. I mean, whatever. It was an experience. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Because as presenters, sometimes we can get kind of, our, our, our material can get stale to us. We tell the same stories over and over again. We have to keep them fresh. In talking to people at the concert who had been to many Iron Maiden shows, they said it was different than anything they've seen because of the stage, uh, kind of the pyrotechnics and some of the stage settings. And that's how they keep their songs fresh. You can't change a song up. That's what the fans want to hear. So you can't go in and change a bunch of notes, but you can have your energy level can change. Everything around it can, can be adjusted and the way the band members interact. How can you keep your speeches fresh, especially your stories? Change little nuances. We talk about having dialogue in your stories, uh, where you stand and how you present. Take the audience into your stories. Don't just report on them. There are little tweaks that we've had you know, 280 of these tips now. You can go back and make slight adjustments. But the thing I took away most from this concert was the interaction with the fans. And as speakers and presenters, we have to interact with our audiences. We've got to know our material so well that we don't think about it. We ask questions. We make points. We give the audience, our audience, a chance to interact, make points, and have fun with our stories and our activities that we give them. So the lesson today from a band that's been around for 40 years and gives one of the best shows on the planet is to be present, know your material, Evolve your material so it's still fresh for you, and you can create an experience, not just a presentation, that will leave people talking for years and years to come. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.